Okay, in this example, we're going to solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 5x equals 14. So the first thing that I think of in a, uh, for this type of problem is the first thing I want to do is, well, the first thing is I you know, recognize it as being a quadratic equation. So I say, hey, this is quadratic. That's what's going on in my brain. And again, the way that I recognize it's quadratic is I see that there's an x to a power of 2. There may or may not be a term involving x to the first power. In this case, there is. And there's also a constant floating around. So if I see those things and nothing else, I think, well, that's going to be a quadratic equation. The next thing I think is, well, how do I go about solving quadratic equations? Well, I want one side of the equation to equal 0. So I want one side of the equation to be 0. Okay, so that, I think that's going to be easy enough to do. We'll just subtract 14 from both sides. And then to go about solving it, I either try to factor it, or if I can't factor it easily, I'll use the quadratic formula. So that's kind of my, my recipe here on, on how I'm going to go about solving this. So, All right, so we have x squared plus 5x equals 14. So the first thing I'm going to do to make one side of the equation equal to 0 is I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. The other thing is I, want, I like the x squared term to be positive. So um, I'm going to move everything to the left side here and make the right side equal to 0. Well, I don't have any like terms on the left side, so I can't combine them, but that's okay. So I'll have x squared plus 5x minus 14 equals 0. Again, on the right side, 14 minus 14 will just be 0. And now I'm going to try to factor it. Again, factoring like this only works when the coefficient on x squared is a positive 1, which it is. We don't write it, but it's understood there's a positive 1. So to get the x squared, I'm going to use an x and an x. Now the idea is I want two numbers that multiply up to negative 14, but add up to positive 5. So multiply to negative 14, but add up to the coefficient on the term involving x, positive 5. Okay, the first thing I think is, well, if it's going to multiply to be a negative number, I need a positive and I need a negative. And then I start thinking about the factors of 14. So, again, you know, this can be, if you're, if you're, if this is a, you know, say a, a number larger than 14 and it had lots of factors, um, it can kind of be a race to do the arithmetic in your head. So, um, so in this case, 14 is not too bad. The numbers that multiply to 14 are going to be 1 and 14 and also 2 and 7. And again, to multiply to negative 14, I'm going to need one of them to be positive and the other to be negative. Well, if I wanted to add up to 5, it looks like 2 and 7 are going to be my choice, right? I can somehow see a combination of those giving me uh, positive 5. Well, it looks like if we use positive 7 and negative 2, positive 7, negative 2, if I add those together, I'm going to get positive 5. But if I multiply, I'm, I'm going to get negative 14. So if you're not sure, certainly feel free to distribute and check and make sure that you get x squared plus 5x minus 14 back. Now that we have it factored, we simply take each factor and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to take the factor x plus 7 and set that equal to 0. I'm going to take the factor x minus 2 and set it equal to 0. Well, in my first equation, to get x all by itself, I'm just going to subtract 7 from both sides. Well, 0 minus 7 is going to be negative 7, so that's going to be one of my solutions. And then I have x minus 2 equals 0. Well, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and that's going to give me the other solution of x equals positive 2. So now we've got our two distinct solutions, x equals negative 7 and x equals positive 2. If this didn't factor nicely again, I would use the quadratic formula. Uh, recall the quadratic formula.
That's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And again, that's going to help you solve a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So kind of the other way to do it, just to jog your memory, um, hopefully you, re you remember this. Kind of an obscure little formula maybe to remember, but definitely for a, a quadratic equation that you know, that has kind of small values, the first thing I would do is definitely, you know, try to factor it like we did in this example.